So I asked you which one I used, the ThinkPad or was it the M1 every day? And you know what? I do use the ThinkPad every day still. Why? It's because it's my only real machine that has Arch Linux on it and 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 uh, and DWM and D menu and all the rest of it. But if someone is asking me, do I recommend this laptop? You know, this is a very difficult question because I think the M1 is a lot better, really. And but if if you needed a machine with your suckless desktop and you didn't have, any, have anything else. I would say probably get a ThinkPad. But I think for me going forward, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I rarely travel nowadays. And if I'm gonna travel, I'll probably just bring the throwaway M1, you know, I, don't, I can't, I can't be, be bothered, you know, losing my SSH keys and all that other stuff if I, if I lost this thing. So let, let's, let's just focus on the ThinkPad here. So I, I love the fact that I can just fold that flat like this. You can't do that with the M1. <laughs> so I have had a long history of ThinkPads. Um, when I graduated from the University of Helsinki, I think I had a, a ThinkPad X61 that went with me, you know, through Russia, Kazakhstan, Pakistan, um, India for like six months. Uh, I don't know, Malaysia, Indonesia all sorts of places with me. And it was, it was my, my road warrior. It was, it was rock solid. I loved it. I had, I think, uh, you know, the suckless desktop on it back then even. And, um, you know, I, I would check into a hostel and ask them if they ha had a website or, you know, could help them with the website. And I actually made money with it for the most part. And I got, you know, I think I was doing some open source work back then too. And I managed to do it all, all the time I was just backpacking. So the ThinkPad does have a, have a special place in my heart, but fast forward to, I don't know, married life, good internet at home. Um, I, I just don't need, I just don't need something like this on the road, right? I, I, and as, as I said, if I lost it in Indonesia, I, I'm not too sure I can be bothered with all the, the stuff that I'd have to recreate and all that sort of stuff. I'd rather just use a throwaway consumer Apple laptop, I think. Um, but it begs the question, I need a PC. And um, <laughs> like, I, I was thinking of buying a kind of like a team red gaming machine, but like the, the Radeons are like two grand right now. And this thing's like, this whole thing is 1,600. And some of the gaming laptops seem quite good value for money considering how much it costs to build a PC. So that's where I am in life. I want to build a PC. I'm finding it quite expensive to do so because the parts are expensive. And I honestly think this will be probably my last ThinkPad. There's just no need for me to have, have something like this anymore in my life. So um, I'm, I'm very sad about it, actually. I'm a big, you know, I've been on the, on the ThinkPad Reddit for, for a long time. I've been a huge fan of the, the ThinkPad, but to be honest, my X61 had a better keyboard. I had a network port. I, I must say, I have enjoyed the Ryzen. I have enjoyed the Ryzen on this thing. The screen is sucks compared to that. The microphone's been bad. You, you know the drill. I mean, you know the drill. Just be realistic. So if I was going to do it all over again, if I was going to go travel backpack all over again, I probably would just use a ThinkPad. It's just too painful to SSH to a, a same Linux machine for work. But if you're like me, come on, M1 guys. It's, it's just, just, just buy the entry, what do you call it? The base level specs one. You'd be blown away. Do comment below. Oh, by the way, I want to build a quiet PC. Uh, is that even possible nowadays? And please give the video a like. Bye.